Okay, welcome back everybody. This is going to be the actual gameplay part of the loot run, and we've already run into problems. Uh, I misdiagnosed this. I thought that we would be able to get this dialogue going, but we unfortunately don't have the second part. Uh, I wish there was like a quest log or something that would track things for you that you've received insight on, but at any rate, uh, it, that would be the second half of the medallion is in the mountain tops of the giants. So I, I can say I now have a gameplay push because I have spoken to her. We actually have her as a, uh, a summon. And, um, so I have a gameplay push to go to the mountain tops of the giants, but I don't know how to get there. So, uh, at any rate, that strikes the, uh, what was it called? It's one of the incantations. It's the, phys it's black flame of protection, I think. So I am not going to be getting that. Okay. And other news though, I have leveled up. I have about 3,400 runes on me now. And, um, we're level 88 and I have 26 points in endurance instead of 25 and an equipment load, a natural equipment load of 73 and a buffed one of 88.1 total equipment load. And then 55.6 is what we're currently at. And we are at a medium load. Okay. We are going to go over to here, I think. Yep. We'll buy the very base level of the Crimson Medallion here. Trade again. And that'll cost me 1500 now. If I go in and swap my arsenal charm out for the crimson medallion crimson amber medallion you can see that moved me to a heavy load so i'm not really able to do that right now but i have it on hand okay from here we're going to fast travel up to the church of the vows and uh, I'm actually going to put you on pause because I need to go grind some runes out. We need 4,000 runes. So let's load up into Church of the Vows, and then I will see you guys in a minute. And we are back. Here we are at the Church of the Vows. I've got about 4,500 runes. It is the Blessings Greetings. Boon. Do you need anything? Oh, we have a prayer book to give them. We should do that. I have a couple. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. I think I've heard that before. Oh, maybe he says that for all of these. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Okay, show celestial dew. Do you possess any celestial dew? Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Concerning the miracle of this church of vows, Radigan once cleansed himself with celestial dew, repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Hunala. The order of the Erdri and the fate of the moon were conjoined, and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. Interesting. Let's talk. My faith does not waver. 
The miracle rooted in these grounds will once again mend the world. And this time, its bounty will not be squandered. If you would be Elden Lord, tarnished, I hope that you too will share my faith. About the miracle. To experience the miracle, kneel in the basin at the back and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Absolution will be yours. Any bond, no matter how strained or even severed, will be put to rights. Okay, I don't really want to do that right now. That sounds like something we might use in the future. I think I've heard about Radigan, but let's go ahead and listen again just in case. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Earth Tree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Study incantations. There it is. Blessings boon. Grants blessing to self and nearby allies. One of the ancient Erd Tree incantations grants a blessing to the caster and nearby allies, gradually restoring hit points. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. Blessings once fell like tears from the Erd Tree, and this incantation is but a lingering remnant of their power. All right, what else does he have? Lightning Spear, Honed Bolt, Electrify Armament, O Flame, and Surge, O Flame. Okay, Blessings Boom. There we go. We will slot that into a memory slot. There we go. Okay. What's next? I have a note that I'm referencing. Great Stars and Icon Shield is next. Ooh, I'm excited. I am excited. All right, so we're going to travel up to here, I believe, at the Abandoned Coffin. And this is where I will get to actually, because I'm recording, I can interact with this land. I can pick up any Sites of Grace. I can discover loot. I can fight stuff if I need to whereas whenever I was double checking if I could access some of the points for this equipment uh, I really didn't want to touch this zone or disturb it uh, any more than I was absolutely necessary so I know we want to be well I don't know but I think we want to be somewhere around up here Oh, but, uh, just now noticed. Go ahead and take that off. Go to the map marker. And we will grab that. These guys look like they're not going to aggress on me. You can see, uh, the remnants of giants. Statue of America. Golden Roa. Come on, man. Ruler's mask and ruler's robe. Mask in the image of a wizened sage. Customary dress among lords in a smaller nation. Increases faith. Such a mask illustrates the qualities of an ideal lord. Chiefly wise and possessing a certain defanged geniality. One at the center of society often finds these qualities most expedient.
Luxurious robe worn by lords in a smaller nation. Its fine blue mantle serves to prove its wearer's status. Okay. Oh, that could be... Let's run around him. That's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, man, he's throwing lightning, isn't he? Ancient Dragon Lancey X. I don't want to tangle with that dude right now. We got wolves. Okay, there's a there's a cave somewhere around here. That's what that statue is pointing us towards. I want to get down. I need to go lower the beast eye quivers. That means we're close to death rot. Oh man, I just I just aggroed him. That's a long ways out to aggro. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> Run! This is, there's not a way down from here. Uh, shoot. Okay. I'm having to investigate. I think that thing, the, looking at the color of what he was, the magic he was casting, that looks like death. Okay, here we go. I see a grace sight. That's good. into all kinds of stuff okay there's a flask thing that we can pick up here a golden seed earth tree seed whatever it's called golden seed okay yeah we aggroed them Now, I've been around here, and this is, I, instead of going through that village, I went up these rocks and circled to the right. But we're going to break off to the left, and that's new territory for me. Because I haven't been out there yet. Actually, maybe I have. This does look kind of familiar, but if I have, it was all along this cliff wall. Not quite. What about here? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get a map fragment here. We should. What's this ghostly looking banner? There's a few of them. Okay. So. I, uh, I think that that caravan is found. Oh man, hard to say. We could check here and check here, and then right here is where the icon shield is at. Probably should try to stick to the roads because the caravan's going to be on the road. Okay, there's the windmills. I remember seeing that it was near the windmill village. Okay, we got these guys here. So, looks like we're going to want to cross that broken up bridge. Well, shoot. Oh, they don't seem like they're too interested in us. Well, they're about to be because we're going to attack. This 
smithing stone five. Gilded foot soldier cap. Okay, flanged cap made from gilded iron issued to foot soldiers protecting the royal capital of Langdell. All right. What do we have here? Are you a finger crone or an enemy? That's a finger crone. You, please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Oh, bless you. <sighs> to the east. Ruins of gold to the west, the serpent's sacrilege. <sighs> Wherever the path leads, so shall you follow. Wherever the path leads, only more sorrow. <sighs> Tis a curse. A curse, the curse of Queen Marika. <laughs> Man, what are you so gleeful about? You, okay. your All right, I see that there's loot up here. Lump of flesh. Thought I heard a thump, like footsteps of something big. All right, well, I see that there's a magic portal. I don't really want to take it. Oh, wait, we have a uh, grace site, so I can afford to take it. Let's find out where it goes. Another area of the Altus Plateau up by windmills. I'm probably exactly where I want to be. Okay, well that, that worked out for me. I'm going to run down here to this number one site to see if I find them. What is, is that a... Is that something alive or not? I see loot. That's alive. Is it? I can't, I still can't tell. Bro, you are a giant sunflower. Now he doesn't say anything. But he's pointing towards the Erd tree. Okay. Dragon wound grease. Oh. I think I know what that means. I believe that's the caravan I'm looking for. Yeah, because it's got that pumpkin head guarding it. That is the caravan I'm looking for. Okay. Go time. Let's see if what I'm concerned about happens. It did not. Okay, good.
Whoa. How do I get to my destination? They must be off this way. Hmm, I think that's a drop off. Uh, rats. West Windmill Pasture. Wow. Let's rumble. At least two more over there. I want to clear them out. Oh. Giant rat ashes. All right. There we go. Bear in mind that uh, this is a new chronicle, so I'm right back at the discovery phase. That means no fighting cowboy guides. I will only uh, go and look stuff up on YouTube if I feel like I've tried long enough and it's hurting the series for me to continue to just... Uh, bang my head against a brick wall. Aha. Okay, these little platforms. Sometimes that button doesn't work on my controller. Great dragonfly head. All right. This is the way down. We could probably make that jump right there, but let's be safe. And make it right there. Ah. Oh, <laughs> these guys are so pitiful. I feel almost bad about whacking them. These guys I don't feel bad about at all. <laughs> Trading counters. This zone certainly has a lot of interesting stuff to discover. Got a whole bunch of you guys. Hear more of them around here, yep. Okay, 
Now we should be able to advance forward. Probably going to run into this caravan pretty soon. Man, I keep finding more levels that I need to get lower on. Running into little cliffs. Oh, never mind. It wasn't as far of a drop as I thought. Okay. Here we go. Now, where's... Where's that pumpkin head at? I don't see him there. place to hide. Maybe this is a different caravan. I really don't think so, but I don't see that pumpkin head. guy targeted. Okay, I see another entourage, but no pumpkin head. Let's go loot and find out if this is the right one or not. Oh, it is. Okay, that's a big development for us. And now we're going to go get what partners with it, which is the icon shield. So let's go ahead and take point two off and point one. As we are only interested in point three. I think I can, I think I can drop off here, yeah. Let's do it right here. Man, this looks like an upside down house. It's a destroyed bridge, the column. One of the columns of the bridge. Nighttime is upon us. Feels like we're in a haunted forest.
kill everything. If I remember the video right, there's stuff here that spits death. Whoa. Yeah, like that. That spits death. Shoot. There we go. Oh man, he's right there. Death, get out. Am I fat rolling somehow? That felt very slow. Oh man, I am. Why am I fat rolling? No, it says I have a medium load. I don't know. I think that's everything. There are two things to loot here. The gravel stone. I don't know what that is. Gravel stone. Well, it's, I guess it's gravel. I don't know what it's used for, I should say. Oh, we have more. I want to just make sure. No, we don't. Icon shield. What are you guys firing at? Oh yeah, a bunch of death things. Those things are, uh, they're reaper-like. That's what they make me think of. I saw them in a video. I've never seen them in-game until now. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. I don't even know how that happened. Huh, okay. What are my dudes getting beat up by? Oh, they're not. They're beating up somebody. All right, well, we're going to uh, fast travel elsewhere. Oh, I'm in combat, All right? There we go. Let's just go down to Church of Ella. So 211 plus 67. And 137 plus 26, I guess the big thing to keep in mind is I'm doing 442 damage. There it is. So currently it's doing 173 damage with D strength scaling. And might as well just swap this out. Du -du -du, switch view, switch display. Great shield painted with a divine scene, the recipients of a blessed tear from the herb tree, an item that looks back fondly on the age of plenty. 
The divine scene acts in and of itself as a sacred invocation, gradually restoring the carrier's hit points. I'm still at a medium load. That is absolutely fantastic. How much do you weigh? You weigh more than the Great Stars does. Okay, so that helped move into Great Stars. Huge bludgeon with three stars at the striking end. Though primarily a striking weapon, the star's spikes cause blood loss. A blood-stained star is an ill omen, a fact not lost upon those against whom this weapon is brought to bear. Landing attack slightly restores hit points. Skill endure. Assume an anchored stance to brace for incoming attacks. Briefly boosting poise. Damage taken while using this skill is reduced. Ah, neat. Okay, so before embarking on any leveling up adventures of these weapons, this is what our guy will look like. Assuming everything works. Strengthen. Oh, it only requires a regular smithing stone. Okay. Oh, you know what? I might run out of runes here. Level two, level three. Okay. Level one, this one, you only want to take it to level nine. He was sure to emphasize that, save the mats. So I didn't remember that earlier whenever I was talking about it. Let's fast travel. I keep hitting the wrong button. Down to here. Do a strength and armament. Smithing stone class two. It'll take it to level five. Okay. Pushing to level six. Level seven. Now we're into class three uh, smithing stones. What do I need here? I need three more class three smithing stones. I'm at. Uh, Gray stars plus nine, that puts me at 205 damage. Where's my overall damage? Uh, well, let's go ahead and, and plus this up first. Oh, it's a little bit more money. It's, this is, plusing this up is gonna increase our guard boost. Level five, level six, and I think I'm out of runes. Switch right. Okay, I'm doing 262 damage. So if I switch over to the golden halberd, 442, how is that such a huge difference? The holy damage, perhaps? Uh, that might be it. So I need to get uh, the Ash of War put on it. All right, well, for right now, then, let me unequip these because I want to stick with what I know. Golden Vow at Mount Gelmir. Okay, I'm going to pause you and just double check where this is at. I know that it's a shack, so I'll be right back. Okay. We gotta go back up to here. And I think this thing's located right here or thereabouts. There's a bridge out this way. We need to follow this road, this one right here. I didn't even notice you there before, bro. I don't really have runes to buy oh, anything. Yeah, yeah my, I, terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? Uh, 
He's got three stone sword keys. That would be nice. Crossed tree tower shield. Scorpion kite shield. That's neat looking. Tree surcoat. 21 poise. Huh. Nothing that suits your taste then. <laughs> Twenty five poise. Okay. Oh, is there anything wrong? Do you have anything else to say? You oh. do not. Nothing that suits your taste then. Uh, what time of day is it? It's late night, so let's push to morning. And we probably need to go ahead and actually take this uh, portal. those uh, platforms over here that we can descend down I don't see them there they are oh he took off all right There's the convoy. Okay, we need to be going where? This way. So there should be a bridge, and I see one out there. That'll be the first bridge. It's not the one we're looking for. I don't think. Is that a bridge I saw? Yes. Mount Gelmir. Okay, so I'm in the right zone. Is there a map location? There is. There, it's right here. Okay. I gotta shoot right through here. Oh, we got fights happening. There was some loot out there. Oof, these guys are my most hated enemies. We don't like you. Oh my gosh, there's giants hung up here. Dogs. Oh, wow. Really? This is what I hate about dogs. They seem to 
they live through stuff that you think that they should be dead. Ah, shoot! Eater. Oh, he got me. She got me. This is a horrific place. We have to make it through this, and we don't have torrent. Okay. Lost my runes. Me shinies. Am I gonna be able to get them back? That dude's hiding. Uh oh. Okay. Ah, you shirts. Oh, wow, sent him flying. a good stagger all right well I see my runes over there better see if I can get them before I get ambushed again twenty three hundred yeah ah invaded there she is Taking a lot of my, uh, a lot of my stamina with each one of those hits, but I am able to pretty reliably counter strike her. Oh, oh, I'm out of health. Okay, there we go. That helped. Is she striking through my guard? I got her. I think she must have been doing some damage to me even if I was had my guard up. Sacred butchering knife. All right. You dang wench. Five across the eyes for you. Okay, slowly make my way towards my markers. This must be the other bridge, but I don't see how I can get up there. Stone sword key, that's nice. Look at the pile of tarnished bodies. Oh my gosh. They don't like us at all. This is uh, one of those cases where I think I will have to pause you. What am I after? I'll find out. I forgot what I'm after. Uh, I know that I'm going to a shack for something. I think it's a spell. All right, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, it looks like I have gotten as far as I need to go. 
I don't need to go that far. It's back over here. It's where she appeared, actually, I think. The assassin. Right here. Yep, corpse, corpse stench shack. That gets me golden vow. Which means we can fast travel. Let me clear these markers off. We can fast travel back to here. And we'll slot this in. And uh, memorize spell. Golden Vow. Cannot use this sorcery or incantation with present attributes. I need one point, one more point of faith. Okay, but it is slotted. Alrighty then. Uh, what's next? I'm alt tabbing to check my notes. Uh, we need to go get the heal from Brother Corin. Now, for most of you guys, you're going to go to the round table for that. But for me, he has left the round table. And that means uh, he's like right here. So I need to go to... Let's go here. And then I need to head east. Okay, and I'm facing east. So I want to go around that camp. So we'll shoot up the left flank up here. Yeah, we were out here earlier. I remember that lake. All right, now we need to find, uh, well, I don't know if we need to find the road, so my, we're right, we're right there. We'll just keep going here. He's gonna be somewhere around that area, or I'm anticipating that he is. There's another grace site. I'm gonna grab that first. Okay, so here's the fork in the road. We stay left. This is where we got the map, and there he is, okay. So if I'd realized that, I would have stopped and talked to him before. Ah, look who we have here. How delightful to meet a familiar face, even after departing the round table hold. I've been doing some learning of my own since then, actually, and will <laughs> happily pass it along to you. Tell the noble gold mask's whereabouts. Actually, let's study the incantations first. I already have urgent heal. This is the one I want. Heal. Great heal, cure poison, magic fortification, assassin's approach, darkness, rejection, lightning fortification, flame fortification, catch flame, flame sling, black flame and black flame blade. All right. I heal. Now do, tell him. Do you sport with me? From your description, it can be no other than the gold mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the golden order and its benevolent rays. 
And to you too. My sincerest thanks. I'll be honest, I don't remember what the gold mask was all about. May the golden order shine through you. I know we found some loot that was about a mask, and then there's Vera, who is the white mask, I thought. I don't remember the gold mask. I'll have to look that up and refresh my memory. All right, I will be right back. Just stay with me. I'm just checking my note here. Okay, now we're going to do the prayer, Prayerful Strike Ash of War and the Golden Order Fingerprint Seal. Those are... Those are... Uh, I think it's out here. But this won't work for us. This is a special, its own little unique area. It's not, so I, I need to get into, to here actually. Wait a minute. Does he have any other dialogue? I'll soon leave to join the noble gold mask. It is entirely thanks to you. You have my sincerest gratitude. May the golden order shine through you. And once I more, will soon leave. It okay. Is entire... May the golden order shine through you. Okay. So we want to head to point number two, and that's how we're going to enter, enter into. I don't know if it's called the outer courtyard of the capital city or the 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 outside of the capital city it's something like that okay this is a drop off right yes I think I was able to drop right here. Was there maybe a way up over here? No. So then I must have followed this cliff wall and there, there's gotta be a pass up here somewhere. No, nope, because I don't remember running into those platforms. Uh, let me go back to here. We're, we're still not going to go straight ahead. We're just going to look for an alternate way up and around through these cliffs. I'm surprised I don't remember this. About how I accomplished this. I don't think I went this way. Uh, 5,000, I can afford to lose 5,000 runes. Oh wow, two big tree sentinels. Okay, now I know for sure I got here a different way. For sure, for sure. We're gonna grab this stuff. Two golden seeds, wow. And uh, guess I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I came in through that way. So I know there's another route through here, but anyway, we're going to head up here and take this 
Do I take that path up? I don't think so. I think we actually drop off over here. I want to make sure I can get... Well, I have the grace side. Of course I can get back up. Okay, so we have this guy traveling around. Everybody says this one's fast compared to other ones, I guess. Okay, we're gonna switch to the Uchi Katana. Ah, there we go. Okay, I got Prayerful Strike. We can fast travel up to the outer wall phantom tree. Yes. Oh, there's a map. I didn't see that before. Lindell Royal Capital. All right, that helps. I don't think it's here. That's too far. It's more like maybe right here. Hold on. Position number one, we can remove position two. Okay, now it's just a it's just a body we have to loot, so it might be over here. Nope, that's a fort. So let's go up the hill. We have jar peoples. I don't remember seeing them in the video. Missionary Cookbook 4. Oh, yeah, this is the right place. This should be it right here. Golden Order Seal. All right, sweet. All right, I'm gonna end this recording right here because I need to go grind up runes and mats in order to level up uh, Great Stars and the Icon Shield. And I'll do all of that off screen. And we'll do a third recording where I go get the uh, Tree Sentinel armor. All right, welcome back everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and I have a guide up, a video guide on YouTube by, by V Slayer. V is in Vampire. Slayer. And uh, she is who I picked to get us to the Tree Sentinel armor. Uh, before we take off, I do have my great stars up. I have been able to level that up to class 11 rank 11 maybe we'll say it's a uh, rank 11 so i am doing whenever it's one-handed 314 damage now that's quite a bit less than um than my golden halberd but we get some other benefits with it and the strike damage uh Frowny, what's his name? Uh, Frowny Gaming uh, says that the strike damage is resisted by very few people, mobs, and Elden Ring, and some are even weak to it. So, anyway, I got the Icon Shield up to plus five. With both of these, we are bottle capped at uh, Smithing Stones. 
and I got the prayerful strike and we took heavy attunement so we are scaling off of strength all right I never I've never attempted this before so I hope I do okay okay last thing before we take off I have the map marked according to how V Slayer said to get there there should be a grace site somewhere around here then we're gonna follow this road we're gonna stay right at the, the first fork take that down it's gonna fork again we again will stay right and the entrance is in this building right here so I forget what the name of these this place is we'll find out when we get there but we are going for the tree sentinel armor we also are not there to defeat the entire dungeon. I just want the armor. Oh my gosh. You look very scary. Uh, remember, we're really not supposed to be in this area right now. We're getting doubles of these. Oh, he's still stalking me. I see thee, little tarnished. Oh no, man. Flame ambition. I'm not ambitious. We can talk to Melina, but again, I'm really not supposed to be here, so I don't want to push her dialogue forward just yet. But I, I think that was the site I'm looking for. I was looking for. Yes, outer wall battleground. From here, I want to go grab this little piece of loot over here. Oh, class seven golden rune, wow. All right, uh, need to head to marker two. A mushroom. Would it really be up the stairs? I think this is the way I originally came in. Oh shoot, we got, there's loot back here that I missed. A grace mimic, I still don't know what those are used for. I never looked it up. Okay, well, I, I guess we're on the road and we wanna stay right. What a neat looking place. I'm just kind of soaking it all in. Okay, so that can be split open probably by that bear. You, you are not big enough.
There must be something else that we have to lure to this point. But there's gonna be, an, I think, a nice somber smithing stone inside there. All right, well, we're gonna continue on. You can see our passive health regen is kicking in. He's a hero's grave, that's right. Ah, and I do recall another video telling me that I needed a stone sword key. Do I recall that? Because I don't think she goes that way. You can see loot right there. She goes this way. So, um, I'm gonna need to pause you, because this is where I need to start watching her guide, so I'll be right back. Okay, so similar to what I've done in other places, we're gonna have a lot of starting and stopping, because I'm gonna watch small bits of what she does, in order to make sure I don't forget any steps. Uh, also, she, she does spin the runes to go into here, or the stone sword keys, it's gonna cost two, and it's the epitaph sword. It's epitaph something, is what you can get. And there's a basilisk in there also. The basilisks are the little frog-eyed guys that spit death. And we're about to run into one too, assuming I can live long enough to get to them. So this might take me a lot of attempts. That sounds like I'm gonna... Okay, I made it. Alright, there should be an enemy here. Oh, there he is. I have noticed that this Great Star's weapon, maybe because I gave it strength scaling, it, uh... It staggers people quicker than that golden halberd did, did. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, get out, get out, get out. That's a lot of death. Brother, don't roll through all that. Okay. No, back away, back away. Okay, got one. I think there's two left here. Oh, it's gonna kill me, yeah, death blighted. Man, that's pretty, pretty awesome. So it builds up like in your blood and then it breaks out like an alien punching through your chest. Okay, I brought up another guide by Gamer Guru. And I don't know if it's any easier. He, he just does, he stays with the chariots instead of going down and dealing with the death. And it's probably what kind of character you're playing, you know, what your play style is. This is probably six or a half dozen of the other, but maybe it's easier for one style to go one way and, an, and another style to go another way. So I'm gonna give this a shot means I have to give up my runes and I'm okay with that. It's not a lot. I didn't have a lot. Fan daggers. Oh, 
Uh, that doesn't look doable. Yeah. Wow. Somehow we lived. Okay. And then up here. Uh, oh, bad. <laughs> oh. to figure out the timing here. I think we want to wait for the one on the left to come back up. Oh, that was very close. Oh! You're scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't quite make you got to make that drop and I, I thought I had it I was real close am I supposed to just continue down oh uh, that answer is no that time okay holy grace okay stand by I'll be right back okay we're gonna descend down some more tiers uh, what do you call these things uh, piers or beams I guess We want this center line one. Okay, then we're gonna take this out this direction. Okay, we've got a gargoyle. drops to here and then here and this is where I pause you again okay so it looks like our initial objective man is this right I guess so um, is to simply make it so that these chariots kill each other 
having a hard time walking a straight line here. So we're going to climb the ladder. Side. Oh, don't die. <laughs> Got up just in time. Yeah, I guess I missed that on the guide there. That's uh, really sad. Gotta start over again. Yeah, that really was too bad. I actually went the wrong way. I should have gone up. Oh, shoot, man. He got me. Dang, I'm in a stupid way to get hit. guy and now I think we're supposed to die okay so it is best to just die I confirmed that through V Slayer's video now she doesn't die she goes through and tries to recover uh, she tries to do it the hard way as, as she terms it um, but I am going to die and then I'm back to watching <laughs> Gamer Guru's video because that's the route that he took. Also, this seems to be different than the original video I saw earlier where the tree sentinel armor was looted from a chest. Instead, what we should get is these chariots. We have to get through the first part the same way that we've done before but then we're going to run into a part where all these chariots run into each other and that's what gets us the armor so it's a different method than the original video i saw Okay, we got Ash of War, Holy Ground, the Tree Sentinel Helm, the Tree Sentinel Armor, the Tree Sentinel Gauntlets, the Tree Sentinel Greaves. And I have no need of anything else in here at the moment. So we're going to go back up to the Grey Site. We're going to put all this stuff on and we'll find out if we're fat rolling or not. Blues across the board except for that weight. Eighteen point nine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a big jump. <laughs> All right, well, 
let's see what our dude looks like. Amazing. <laughs> but we are way slow. <laughs> Sticking with the Cuckoo Knight armor because it's awesome looking. I'm not really necessarily crazy about that helmet. Let me see it out in the daylight. I like the helmet itself more. It, it looks like it's uh, gilded armor. Is that the right word? Like a lot of texture on that armor. It's uh, really phenomenal looking. But I hate that little bonsai tree. I don't know if I'll say I, I hate it. It might even grow on me, to be honest. Switch this out for my Landell Knight Helm, which I think is really cool looking. And switch these back to Tree Sentinel. And yes, I'm at medium load. This would be heavy load, 68.6. 61 point yeah it's quite a bit of a difference uh, well that's gonna wrap it up for right now that's all i was here for we've gotten all the pieces that i could get and i'm going to go ahead and move us to let's try subterranean inquisition chamber yeah this will work okay no entries there nothing here we do have that route we can go but I thought that that just dead ended into a boss fight and then gives you a back way up into the Altus Plateau and maybe that's what we're supposed to do is take the back way up and then we can find the front entrance to this manor I I could see that maybe being the case so that's something we'll explore in episode number two all right guys we got everything. I'm real happy about that. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods, and I will see you in the next episode where the story continues.